Okay, here we are at Geek Heaven on Earth, just west of Chicago. It's a place called American Science and Surplus. Um, it's almost indescribable the amount of stuff they have. They uh, not just buying stuff from retail science supply places, but they take stuff out of sal salvage. For example, they uh, a couple of years ago somehow got a hold of a lot of Russian submarine parts, uh, radar parts, radio parts, whatever. Uh, just about anything that happens to come in, uh, or a customer can sometimes even bring something in, especially if it's brand new and never used, and they'll even sell it for a customer. So here's what the sign looks like. And unless you know how to get here, it's pretty hard to find. When I was coming here this last time, I noticed a tree was blocking the sign so you wouldn't even know where it was if you didn't know where to pull over. But I've been here a number of times over the years. So anyway, I'll go inside, give you guys a little tour of some of the stuff they have in here. This will just be a small portion. I mean, I could make this thing probably an hour-long video if I filmed every section and everything that this place has. So I'm just going to give you a, a small rough idea of some of the stuff they have. Okay, we are in the store now. Looking at what's inside the immediate entrance. And here we have a selection of marbles. And this is the old style cat's eye marbles like they used to have when I was a kid. Got a huge selection of colors, sizes, about 15 cents a piece, all the way down to the large shooter model marbles bottom for I think they're about 85 cents for the ones down below here if you want to get your geek on wear one of their shirts American Science and Surplus didn't have any mediums though they just had uh, small and large and extra large and over here we have a lot better microscopes than you get in any Toys R Us these are quality optical instruments about $200 and up a lot of the mid-range ones are like six seven hundred bucks and a book on the world of microscopes these things here are I don't know. I think left were some kind of surgical tools or something, best I could determine. And here you have your Geiger counter, World War II era for your bomb shelters. Those sometimes are hard to get. Okay, we have your camera detector if you think somebody's spying on you with a camera. You can have a camera detector. Also have an RF bug detector if you think somebody's got an audio listening device trying to spy on you. Here is where that stuff is that used to be from the submarine, but now they've just replaced it with electronic test equipment. Some of it looks like it's equipment that was probably in use in the 50s and 60s. Got some uh, rock and shell samples. Also, there they've got children's si size gas masks. They do get a lot of gas masks in, too, especially from Israel and Russia. It's going to be prevalent. I think those might be made in the USA, though. Got a laser level, your multi-tool. I think anybody that's a true geek probably either carries a multi-tool or a uh, Victor Inox Swiss Army knife, and they carry those too. I was carry I've always carried a Swiss Army knife with me. That one there, I think, has about 12 tools. I carry a little bit simpler version than that, though. I don't carry one with that many tools on it. This is something a customer brought in. I told you before that customers can bring stuff in brand new. This is a 20,000 watt resistor still in the crate hasn't even been opened up brand new I asked one of the guys about that and he said as best as he knows the guy told him it's a resistor to bleed off current to a large horsepower motor I imagine it's probably something like about a hundred horse motor and here's your glassware now if you want to start your kid out with a nice chemistry set just start with a simple chemistry set and come here to kind of round it out with all their stuff when I was a kid they used to carry this kind of stuff at hobby shops but not in this amount of volume and there was no plastic stuff either. It was all glass, so if you dropped it, you broke it. But here, along with the glassware, you'll notice some of it's plastic too, so a little bit more durable if you're setting up a chemistry set for your kid. And pretty reasonably priced, I'd say, too. A lot of stuff between, like, I don't know, 2 and $3 starting all the way up to, like, 8 $10, so none of it's super, super expensive. There you get your uh, settling cylinders, uh, test tube holders, 
here's your regular graduated cylinders all the way from tiny size all the way up to fairly large size very nice for setting up a chemistry set now I'm going to take you to the astronomy section they're pretty much a Celestron dealer as far as the brand name of uh, telescopes and things like that this is where the Russian optical stuff along with the Celestron if they get any in is kept there's the spotting scopes and your uh, little uh, spotting scopes with star maps here is what you're going to spend a lot of money on once you get a telescope you're going to spend probably more money on eyepieces than you do on uh, your telescope here's their complete selection this is the front window of the store where they've got most of the Celestron and a few other models of scopes set up combination of reflectors and refractors the reflectors have the mirror down the bottom, the refractors you just look straight through the eyepiece. And here, how about a Mythbusters science kit? Forces of Flight. I had no idea the Mythbusters uh, put out science kits. Tesla coil, 229 bucks. Now I made my first Tesla coil, I think, for less than 20 bucks. Here's your different uh, electrostatic generators. They have two of these available, and you get your. There's your center Van de Graaff generator. None of these are cheap, but they're well put together, and I'm sure they work. In your wooden case, there you got tuning forks, three different frequencies, a steam engine. That would be a cool project for a kid to do, build a steam engine. And up above, you have your anatomical supplies, a rat skeleton. That is an actual rat skeleton. That is real. Now, this one's a human skull, but it's not real. It's a plastic reproduction, but anatomically correct. And then your creepy crawly stuff is over here to the left. You get your dried up tarantula spider. And then you got a dried up preserved scorpion. $29.95. Now when I was driving in I noticed a sign saying baby torsos. They have a weird sense of humor but there's the baby torsos if you have a need for something like that. Rather weird and